These tunes are more than worthy of your time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be going over some truly underappreciated video game soundtracks. Let's see how many songs we can get stuck in your head at once. I'm Todd Haberkorn, and there's nothing like a great video game soundtrack earworm to stick with you for years. Ah, damn it, I just woke one up. Coming at you from Game Boy Retro FM, we've got an oldie but a goodie from Russia with love. Put your hands together while you cyber bullies in the comments section and get ready. Here's a little 8 bit earworm for you to take you into bed tonight. Let's get ready to mojo! Number 10, Sonic Adventure 2. Upon the blue blur's jump to 3D gaming, many of his entries ended up receiving a rather mixed reception. Some that time has not been especially kind to. Even so, Sonic Adventure 2's soundtrack still stands tall as one of the speedster's best. Although heavily influenced by the music of the period, the game is commendable if only for how many varied styles were included, from rock to punk to hip-hop, and even if there are some definite clunkers. <coughs> Death Chamber theme. <coughs> it still has some of the catchiest songs in Sonic's canon of work. Seriously, it is impossible to get escape from the city or live and learn out of your head. Ah, yeah, see, it's in there now, isn't it? You're welcome. Number 9, Mighty Series. The simplicity found in this series of puzzle platformers is only matched by the brevity of their soundtracks. And yet, both managed to knock it out of the park. In regards to the music itself, we shouldn't be too surprised by its quality, given how it was composed by Jake Kaufman, the genius behind Shovel Knight's exquisite score. From the title track all the way to hits like Love You, Love You, Love, the OST manages to implement melodies found in classic platformers all the way to techno dance remixes. These games may fly under most people's radars, but you won't soon forget these beats once they've blasted through your speakers. Number eight, Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth. While often shoved aside in favor of its more successful pocket monster cousin, the Digimon franchise is not to be underestimated, especially when it comes to this awesome outing. With composer Masafumi Takada at the helm, you know, the dude responsible for arranging multiple Smash Brothers remixes and all things Danganronpa, Digi fans were in safe hands as far as the soundtrack was concerned. Filled with electronic flares that perfectly fit its cyberspace setting, you can expect to be soothed to no end with tracks like Tranquil City and Hacking Pro. Also, the ending here has lots of coffee. Number seven, Halo 3 ODST. The Halo series has some of the most celebrated video game music of all time. So it can be hard to believe that any of it is unappreciated. Alas, this spin-off soundtrack, just like its game, tends not to get its due. Sure, there's less of the overwhelming messianistic tunes that often herald the Master Chief's arrival, but it makes sense here. 
It's dark, gritty, hopeless even, like the rookie and the rest of the Hell Jumpers. The sheer amount of melancholy that accompanies songs like Overture and Deference for Darkness is astounding. Number six, Pyre. Let's just take a moment here to appreciate how phenomenal Supergiant games are when it comes to all aspects of game design, especially their soundtracks. While Bastion is often cited as their crowning achievement, we want to give a little love to their fantasy action RPG Bizarre Sports Hybrid. While practically every song manages to beautifully convey the characters and the many facets of life as an exile, we have to draw your attention to the tracks featuring guest vocalists and supergiant regular Ashley Barrett, whose vocal and lyrical contributions manage to truly elevate songs like In the Flame and Bound Together to the greatest of heights. Number five, Divinity. Dragon Commander. The Divinity franchise has been going for a long time, with each entry accompanied by a distinct and illustrious soundtrack. While Original Sin 2 managed to continue this trend in spectacular fashion, we're giving this one to the vastly overlooked Dragon Commander. From the fiercest war anthems all the way to the most potent of serenades, it's a treasure trove of orchestral wonderment. Afterburner is sure to put a fire in your belly. The Bastard Sun Foretold captures that sense of anxiety as you prepare for battle, while for the hand of a princess is strikingly beautiful in how it presents the daunting task of choosing which royal maiden to give your heart to. Number four, Lufia II, Rise of the Sinestrals. The Super Nintendo era was truly a golden age for RPGs, so it's only natural that gamers missed out on a few hidden gems. With a carefully crafted blend of puzzle solving and roguelike elements, this is one that definitely deserves a lot more attention. especially when it comes to the music, with songs such as The Prophet creating an almost tender mood, all the way to some good old headbangers like the three battle themes. Lufia's second outing is in dire need of rising in the estimation of gamers everywhere. Number three, Tomb Raider, Three. Given how this threequel was not as well received as the rest in Laura Croft's canon of work, it's only natural the soundtrack was the last thing on the mind of gamers as they tried to overcome mediocre levels, which is a damn shame because the music here is kind of brilliant. Highly atmospheric, perfectly immersing the player in the exotic locales, evoking all manner of moods as Lara delves into the unknown. Something spooky is in that jungle. A long way up, there be butterflies here. They all capture the danger and intrigue that comes with this iconic gunslinger's rather unique profession. Number two, Fester's Quest. Let's be real here. The reason no one appreciates this particular soundtrack is simple. It's because it's attached to a bad game. Its unrelenting difficulty and poor design choices are glaring.
We know that the Adams family are all about fear and nightmare fuel, but uh, not this way. That being said, despite the awful gaming experience, its score is surprisingly good. Many of its tracks exude menace and dread despite being 8-bit tunes. In addition, it has several great spins on the classic Adams Family theme, so at least you have something nice to listen to while you break your controller out of frustration and cause endless suffering to yourself. Maybe that was the goal all along. Before we begin, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the strategic mobile game Ark Knights. Ark Knights recently updated its main storyline with Episode 6, Partial Necrosis, along with a theme song produced by musician and EDM superstar Steve Aoki. The song was tailor-made for this update, along with a music video that's on the way. You can dive into Ark Knights' dystopian world today and enjoy this theme song while you play. Number 1, Hollow Knight. Although this Metroidvania is regarded as something of a mini masterpiece, we still feel like its soundtrack doesn't get nearly as much love as it should. Layered with enchanting melodies that lend further ambiance to the hauntingly whimsical atmosphere of Hollow Nest, even if you exclude all of the excellent additional tracks from the DLC, the core selection of songs are a wonder to behold. City of Tears, Resting Grounds, and White Palace illustrate the forlorn beauty of this forsaken kingdom, serene yet sorrowful in their delivery. And then you've got the boss themes. Nothing makes you feel like a knight facing down impossible odds quite like songs such as Mantis Lords and Radiance. Mm. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.